What's up vlog party people? Today I have something pretty exciting to show you but I wanted to first say that this is not a sponsored video. This was a gift but I just have to show you guys because it's freaking cool. Also this little truck part is going to change my life as we know it because we all know I'm an avid road tripper, an avid caffeine drinker and snacker and this is exactly what I've been needing. What's up bud? Well, I'm doing a video over this fridge I got my truck. A fridge you got in your truck? Yeah. You ever seen those before? I mean, I've seen fridges in trucks, but is this one different? Like a one that goes in a truck? Kinda. I mean, like inverter. This one's like made for the truck. How many Mountain Dews could you fit in that thing, bud? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. I got full of Dr. Pepper, but Fine. a day's worth? Yeah, probably. 30, you think? 30. So it is a fridge for my truck. You guys heard it right. Hooks right into the cigarette lighter over there. And then you also have this attachment to hook in either the plug-in in your vehicle or into the wall. The perfect addition to the build. The perfect gift for me because like I said, I'm always road tripping. So I think this bad boy is essential for any trucker, any mom going on some road trips. You gotta keep the kids happy, right? You gotta have snacks. So this is a Smitty built. Yes, you guys know they make winches. Apparently they make fridges. I didn't know that. Um, but you can get these at four wheel parts. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in mine because I've already been through one road trip with this bad boy. <laughs> so we have the diet dr pepper you know i've been on you know i've been watching my sugar intake we got some red bull down there we got some regular dr pepper just the minis though this thing is deep i mean look at this my whole arm is in here and we got the uncrustables we got actually uncrustables on top of uncrustables because you know that's a good snack for the road this here is the dairy and fruit compartment its own separate little deal here and then you have your drink compartments and these bad boys are deep so there's literally a six pack of Dr. Pepper down here and we're not even a fourth of the way full. So like I said, I've already taken on one trip and it kept everything really cold, even to the point where when I parked the truck, turned it off, went inside and slept, the next morning stuff was still pretty cold for me to drink and it's summer right now. So super impressed with this thing. It does have some different settings. Of course you can adjust the temperature and all of that fun stuff. And it also has a shut off, um, what would you call that, bud? An auto shut off. An, an auto, auto low, battery. low battery. Auto low battery shut off. Yes. So like an artery, sh uh, an artery, an artery, an artery shut off. Auto shut off, so it can sense if um, your truck battery is getting low, and so it will turn off automatically to preserve your battery, so you don't end up stranded. And uh, so that's pretty cool. One of the pretty awesome features on this thing. So you guys see where I have mine in the floorboard here um, behind the driver's seat because I'm short so there's plenty of room um, when the seat is where I need to use it but I have had it sitting up here and I could even flip this seat up and have it sitting where that seat is. Um, I'm gonna keep this thing on deck at all times so I'm never gonna take it out probably. Um, so I eventually may move it over there, move the seat and kind of give it its home. But so I have it plugged in the cigarette lighter right now. Um, also side note, Shout out to Parker at Premier Detailing here in Utah for cleaning the inside of this rig because it was trashed after the last road trip. Can just jump back here and grab me a Red Bull whenever I want. No more million stops at the gas station. I can save some money because you know, we go by Walmart, the Dollar Gentral, and we stock up on the goods because it's a heck of a lot cheaper than the gas station. And then we put them in this bad boy. It's a new way of life, bud. We're gonna save money. I'm gonna go ahead and restock my Red Bull. You know, we gotta have the caffeine. Well, I got some friends back home that I know they would wanna put some cold ones in here, but road rides, you know what I'm saying? Have a couple of brewskis. Like, road this thing is- Road brews? The, the roadie sodies. This thing is an epic invention. If I just put, is that four or five? Did you take one of my Red Bulls? No, I did not. You know I don't drink Red Bull, it's Mountain Dew only. Put six 8.4 ounce, they were three for five dollars at the gas station. So I lied, I still went to the gas station. Um, but they were on sale, so I got six for ten dollars. Um, I got six of those, a six pack of Diet Dr. Pepper, and check out how much room is still in there. It's quite impressive, Lacey. We are set. Do you know how many 20 ounce Mountain Dews I could fit in there? <laughs> 
a lot. I yeah. think we should test it out one day just to see. I think we should. Oh, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. What could we give away? Alright guys, so leave a comment below how many 20 ounce Mountain Dews you think me and Bud can fit in the old Smitty Bill cooler. People in their planes, man. People in their planes. And the first person to guess the right amount is going to win the grand prize. Take your guesses, take your chances, and uh, that's kind of all I got for you guys today, I do believe. <laughs>